just uh, a suggestion, really, um, from a couple of people in Germany and John Wagstaff, um, who's my co-manager with Ina Kylitz. And they just, it was just a suggestion. What about doing a love songs album? And I said, well, you know, it's a bit trite. And I don't think so. And then I said, well, you could pick, you know, just other people's songs that you like the best. And the longer I thought about it, I thought, well, there are a couple of, a couple of songs I wouldn't mind singing. And there's a light, a certain kind of light that never shone on me. So finally we got like, so that we got like a list. Um, I made a list. All the, I got people, loads of people, friends, family, everybody make lists. And uh, I ended up with about 100 songs to go through or 50 to 60 songs, something like that. And um, and then I just started to go through and say, well, I like that one, but I couldn't sing that. It's not my kind of thing. And just picking out the ones eventually that I thought were right for me to sing would suit my voice. And ones that I liked. And I wanted to make sure there were some fast songs on there too, it wasn't all slow, because love songs tend to be slow, don't they? Um, so yeah, I just started to pick out the songs, finally got down to 12 and started recording them. And uh, it was kind of good because it kept me busy for through, all that, through all that time when I wasn't gigging, you know. I started off just slowly doing it. I did it in my own studio to start with and recorded a lot of stuff, played a lot of stuff myself. Um, and then I got my guitar player from my touring band, Jeff, Jeff Carline, to play some things that are not kind of my guitar style. Um, and he did that. And then I got um, a couple of people in Nashville put drums on and some keyboards on. Um, but it was a long-term thing. I was doing it bit by bit over a period of about three months. I just took ages doing it. Because playing everything yourself, it takes longer. You don't just go in with the band and say, OK, that's a take. But it was great fun to do, actually. The, the one that was kind of, it was a bit out of my comfort zone, was the Bruno Mars track, which was kind of a bit more, I don't know, funky or whatever sounding, um, a bit more of a groove to it, which is not usually my kind of thing. So I had to find like a beatbox, a drum box thing to do to this thing, which I wouldn't normally do. That was that was kind of a challenge, really. Um, but it sounds great, I think, in the end. I think it's it works pretty good. You 